Good afternoon, this is Elliot here at Das Trucks with another one of our walk around videos. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our inventory as we post it. Our phone number and website are in the description. Today we've got something a little bit special for you. We've been working on a project here. We got a 2016 Freightliner M2106 with a 30 foot box on the back that we have been converting into a sleeper. So what we've done is we've taken the 30 foot box and we've built the first four feet out into a sleeper build, leaving the remaining 26 feet in the cargo space. And we'll get into that in a little bit here. We've got some Michelin tires on here. Lots of tread. This truck's got an engine block heater. 80 gallon diesel tank steps have been repainted along with the chassis with an anti-rust chassis saver paint prevents any rust from forming and keeps any existing rust from spreading we've also repainted the entire exterior of the box Great tires on the back as well. Some Michelins, plenty of tread. This truck's got the swing barn doors on the back. Get a little sneak peek of the sleeper. This is an emergency exit window. It's got a couple latches on the inside. You pull those and this window kicks out, hinges on the top here. I should say it swings out. We've also got an external outlet here with an extension cord you can plug in and have full electricity to the sleeper. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside the cab here. This truck's been fully detailed inside and out. Got a fire extinguisher here for emergencies mounted between the driver and passenger seat. Got a battery kill switch under the driver's seat. Super handy, you don't have to worry about your battery dying, easy to get to. Seats are in great condition. No rips or tears. Brand new passenger seat. Now this truck does have air brakes as well as air suspension. Got a Bluetooth radio here. Well, let's get to the fun part. Now let's get into the sleeper part of this. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through everything that we've done retrofitting this sleeper into this box here. So we've cut through the frame here of the cab and the box, and we've put a flexible accordion rubber boot here between the two. So as your cab and box flex, this will still remain attached and it's waterproof as well as the flooring as well. Now we built this sleeper with a dual bed, bunk bed set up. Got one mattress rolled up there so you can see the platform. So I'm standing up here into the sleeper. I've got the other mattress rolled out on the top bunk. Here we've got a 24 inch TV that we've attached a 100 channel antenna to. The antenna's got a 1600 mile range, so you should be able to pick up TV channels just about anywhere you find yourself. We've got a 700 watt 
retro styled microwave here. We've mounted up on this platform with some brackets. We've also got a lockable filing cabinet storage space here that's been mounted to the wall for security. And here we've got our emergency exit window. You pull these two red levers and this window hinges on the top, just swings right out for you. Great for an emergency exit in a pinch or just a quick way to get out of the sleeper. We've installed two outlets here that also have USB-A and USB-C charging for your phone or laptops, whatever else you may find yourself having inside here. Our goal was to create a sleeper that someone felt comfortable being in instead of having to always go stop and get a hotel or a motel for the night. Now you'll see we've got three lights on the ceiling here. Two of them that are on right now are connected to the truck's battery AC. And we've got a dimmable switch here. And the third light is a switch over here. Now the third light we've connected to an external outlet outside the truck. It's just below the corner of this window here on the outside. And you take an extension cord if you have your truck parked somewhere and you can plug it into a regular outlet and that'll give you electricity for the entire sleeper, TV, microwave, everything included, without having to have your truck running all night. So very nice option. I know a lot of truck drivers keep their truck running in the winter time or just while they're uh, stopped. So with our uh, engine block heater and our external hookup, you should be able to keep your engine warm through the winter while also giving yourself electricity overnight if you need it. Now on the ceiling here, we do have an extra little storage space up above there, as well as some storage space beneath this bottom bunk here, about a foot of clearance or so. You look at this boot from the inside here. Now, as far as the walls go, these walls are fully insulated and they've been built out of a flex steel, triple paneled between the sleeper and the cargo space in the box. So this will prevent any cargo you may have in the box from coming through some sort of a, you know, a weak wall or anything like that. So it's a very sturdy, very strong wall, but still flexible. So as your box flexes, this wall flex right along with it. Now to power all the electricity in here, we've hooked up a 2000 watt inverter. So that can power your 700 watt microwave as well as your TV, your phone, electronics, anything you may have plugged in very easily. Now this is just our first sleeper build setup. So we do have a lot of different customizable options we're gonna offer. You can do it with a single bed, dual bed, do a little more with storage options, things like that. So we have a lot of options going forward and this is not the last one we will be building. We are gonna build many more of these as we go forward. So stay tuned. Now let's go ahead and fire this thing up. This particular Freightliner has 295,348 miles, 11,500 engine hours. As you can 
can see no lights on the dash. Air brakes and air suspension working. Def system working. This truck's in great condition. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. Taking a look under the hood here. These Freightliners come with a 6.7 liter Cummins ISV inline six engine, coupled with an automatic Allison transmission. As you can see, this thing's looking and running great. And there you have it, a 2016 Freightliner M2106 with a 6.7 liter Cummins ISB engine, a 30 foot box on the back here with 26 feet of cargo space, and the first four feet with the dual bunk bed sleeper build from the cab. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.